What's up, everyone? It's me, Disparity, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a class overview on the Muck class. Now, before we get started, just let you guys know, this is just a class overview, just to explain what the class is and what the class is about. Later on in the future, I will be going over actual game guides that you can try out within the game here. Now, let's go ahead and get on into it. So, as a Muck, you channel your cosmic enlightenment by deftly dodging and efficiently disassembling your foes through stunning strikes in a whirlwind of martial art attacks. Now, details of the monk. Proficiencies are simple weapons and short swords. So, simple weapons, uh, as you guys see here, your proficiency bonus to attack rolls with simple weapons. All right, so the abilities that you get into is uh, with, when it comes to a monk is definitely dexterity and constitution. So, layering already basically sets you guys straight on the monk class here. So, it's, it's pretty straight up and straightforward. So, now let's go ahead and jump right through. All right, so now that we're able to skip that we can't. So the actions that you get as a monk is that you get patient de defense, attack rolls against you, have disadvantage, and you have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Step of the wind, dash, double your movement speed. Jump no longer requires a bonus action. And the step of the wind, disengage. Retreat to, a, uh, to safety by disengaging. Jump no longer requires a bonus action. You also get for some class features. You get a key point here and also unarmored movement. Okay, so now we can go on to race here. So because Azario Tiefling, Legacy of Avernus Searing Smite, we get that there, of course, which is really cool. Then we get to uh, choose a subclass of the monk here. We have the four elements, which is you focus your key to bend the elements to your will, using them as an extension of your own body. So this kind of sounds like, you know, you're an avatar from like Avatar, you know, the last airbender. Pretty cool, huh? Now, way of the open hand, you specialize in unarmed combat using your your hands and your control key to heal and inflict grievous uh, hurt. So, as you guys see here, you get fl uh, Flaria blows, topple, punch twice in the quick succession, and possibly knock the target prone. Flaria blows, stagger, punch twice in a quick succession to, and stagger the target, making it unable to take reactions, which this does give 8 to 18 damage. And then last but not least, you have Flaria blows, push. Which does basically the same thing except pushing your target away. You get 8 to 18 damage. So pretty nice. And then the way of the shadow here. You value the arts of stealth and subterfuge. Bending the shadows to your will to strike without warding. Shadow arts pass without trace. Shadow arts darkness. Shadow arts dark vision. And shadow arts silence. And you get a trip minor illusion. So in today's video I'm going to be going with the four elements here. So now we can choose our elements. What kind of elements do we want to use? So it's basically like you're a frontline, in a sense, you're basically a frontline um, mage in a sense, but also you're a monk, you know? Just like I said, just think of the avatar here. So we're going to go with um, Fangs of the Fire Snake. Ooh, Sweeping Cinder Strike. Hmm, that sounds very, very sp uh, spicy. And Water Whip. God, a lot of this reminds me of uh, Death, like reminds me of Divinity. Let's go ahead and go forward. Now, of course, you have a choice to replace the spell if you want to replace the spell. And then also now you get an extra, you get a feat here. So as you get a feat, you know, it's like, hmm, what kind of feat do you want to get? You're a monk. You're bro you're most likely going to be frontline. What is going to tailor you to do to do better or to be stronger, you know, for your team, right? So in this kind of case here, I mean, mobile will be pretty nice because you get your moments increases and difficult terrain doesn't affect you, especially since, you know, you're a monk. You know, you want to be up close and personal or... Tough is really nice as well. Your maximum hit points increase by two for every level you gain. So I would, and now I'm not for sure if you should get this now or later. That's like, it's, it doesn't really specify. Um, but I, if it's now, then I, I mean, it's cool. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get mobile. So we get class feature opportunity, mobile evade opportunity attack. And then we also get difficult terrain. So it's really nice, some nice stuff there. All right, so we get now get access to extra attack. You get stunning strike melee and stunning strike unarmed. Now with the race here, we get with uh, because we're a tiefling, we get Lexi Avernus branding smite, and that's uh really nice. Good old Karlak, lover. All right, so the slice of the elements. Now we get to select another spell. So, I you know for me, I just like spells that are like really unique. It's like the fist of unbroken air, really cool. Push the target back six and knock him prone. It does three to 30 damage. We'll go ahead and pick that bad boy up. 
Now, shaping a shape of ice creates an icicle <laughs> flammable cute. That's really nice to do. All right, so health is increased from 45 to 52. We get access to additional key point in evasion with still uh, stillness of mind. And then, of course, you get to replace the spell if you want to. Now that we're level eight, we get access to another feature. So because we get access to another feature, we get a couple, again, more choices here. So your strength or dexterity increases by one if you want to go with athlete. Or like I said, for me, at least, resilient might be quite nice because it increases your ability to a maximum of 20 and your proficiency in that ability saving throws. Or again, you can go ahead and get, uh, well, I'll go ahead and get tough for the showcase here. Because tough is going to increase my HP and I'll be a lot more tankier. So as you guys see, we're HP increased from 75 from uh, 75 to 95. We get an uh, improved elemental casting. You're fitting with elemental key defense. Several of your offensive four elements features deal an additional dice of damage. Your clinch of the wind, uh, though the north wind can hold an additional creature, and your embrace of the inferno fires an extra ray. And also we gain access to another spell. So it's honestly really, really nice. Uh, last but not least, you get a couple of other, again, extra moves here. You get Clench of Norway, which is a hold of humanoid enemy at will. They can't move, act, and react from attacks within three meters are always critical hits. So that's actually really nice, especially if you're a frontline monk doing some devastating damage. Okay, so now that we access level 10, we get an additional key point, improved on armor movement, and then also purity of body you are immune to poison damage and can't be poisoned or affected by disease thanks to the purifying key flowing to your meridians really cool really nice and so this is how you built you want to build your monk yeah you know, other than the whole mobileness um if this guide helped you out in any way shape or form just consider liking subscribing thank you guys for watching peace out much liberty have a good one y'all if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.